Okay, I said it in the first time I made a recap on this video, and I'm going to say it again. What did Sam Alvey do to the UFC to deserve this matchup? I'm really sorry, man. But I don't think that uh, Sam Alvey's going to make it out of the second round in this one. I think Phil Hall is probably going to knock him out pretty early if he's patient. If he runs out there and uh, is, is um, kind of just throws, then I think he could actually get himself in trouble from Sam. But Sam Alvey's on like a seven-fight losing streak. If you include the draw as a uh, as a loss there. Uh, he lost a split decision to Wellington Terman. Lost by submission to Julian Marquez. Lost split, uh, draw was a split decision to Dayun Jung. Split decision to Ryan Spann and uh, United's decision over Clayton Abreu. Sam Alvey complains about decisions a lot. He uh, he, he went a bit uh, a wild when he lost the decision to Wellington Terman. Uh, Wellington Terman lost like two points in that one due to eye poke. Sam Alvey was not happy uh, with the decision uh, whatsoever. I'll just move up a little bit so we can see his face there. Phil Hawes, he's uh, going to be a little bit smaller in there, six foot tall, but he's got the uh, reach advantage. He was a very heavy favorite to beat Chris Curtis and then got knocked out in the first round after hurting Chris Curtis as well. He did hurt Chris Curtis in that fight. Chris Curtis has gone on to beat Brendan Allen and now is fighting Drickus Duplessis uh, coming up. So not really too bad of a loss to have on the record, although he was a very, very heavy favorite to win that fight. He's uh, beaten Kyle Dalkaus by decision. He's beaten uh, Nasuddin Amalvov by decision. He knocked out Jacob Malkoon. And uh, he knocked out a, a guy on Dana White's contender series. I think he's got to beat Sam Alvey on this one here. Both guys are pretty old. Sam Alvey's definitely towards the end of the of his career. I don't know if this is going to be like his last fight. But if he loses this fight, he's definitely not going to be in the UFC anymore. The UFC's not doing Sam Alvey any favors by giving them this matchup at all. Maybe he... Um, could have fought like EK Villain a waiver at 205 pounds or something like that. That would have made sense for Sam Alvey at this point in his career. But yeah, I've got Phil Hawes. I think he's going to knock him out or win the decision. But I think there's a pretty decent chance he's going to knock him out. I've got Phil Hawes in this one here. He's going to be a big favorite. And I think he's just he's just better than Sam Alvey, especially at this point in his career. Where Sam Alvey just hasn't really been able to find a win. Let's be honest. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. If Sam Alvey wins, though, I will be very impressed. But I'm going to have to go with Phil Hawes on this one here.